Hi, so this is problem 7.1 of internal forces in beings. So in this problem, we want to find the internal forces at point C. Here we have a beam that we have a distributive force of three kip per feet. Remember that kip is a thousand pounds. So here we have 3,000 pounds per feet. Here we have a roller and then we have here a pen. The first step in when we want to find the internal forces is always to find first the external forces, the external reactions. In this case, we have to find the external reaction produced by this roller at A and by this pin at B. So this is our first step. So I'm going to call it step one, external reactions. And to find external reactions, I will do my free body diagram of the whole beam, right? So, this is my beam, and I have at six feet, 4.5 feet, and 4.5 feet. And then I have my external a external force that is applied. This distributed force, I will place it as a concentrated load, and as you see, it's three kip per feet, and I have six feet, so it's 18 feet. Since this is a constant force, it will be located at the half of six feet, so it will be 18 kip at three feet from the end of the, of the beam, or or well, three feet as well. Let me buy this 18 over here at the top so that I can write three feet over here from point A. What do I have in A? Since it's, it's, it, it is a roller, I have only one force, which I call AY. And at B, I have two reactions because I have a pin. So I have B X and B Y. So this is my free body diagram of the whole structure. Now I will do the equations of equilibrium. And for that I add forces in X, which is equals to zero. Therefore, as you see, the only force that is equals that is in the system in the X direction, remember that we are using x, y, and c as our inertia coordinate system, so bx is equals to zero. Then I add forces in y. When I add forces in y, I have two unknowns, so it may, may be better to calculate moments respect to one point. So I will calculate moment respect to point A equals to zero. What do I have? I have three feet and 18 kips, and if I place my hand at A and I put my palm through the distance, I curl my fingers to 18, I got, remember, this is positive and this is negative. So I hit a positive moment of three times 18, right? And then I get also a positive moment of nine, B, Y. Therefore, by is equals to negative six kips. And now I add forces in y, and what do I get? I get negative 18 plus a y plus b y is equals to zero, but already b y is negative six. So if I place that here, negative six, and I put that to the other side, I get that a y is 24 kips positive. So at the end, I put all, both forces as positive, but I got this to be negative. So I got the values for a y which is 24 kips and b y which is negative 6 kips. 
So now that I have those values, it means that dy goes downwards, negative gradation of y. Now that I have the external reactions, I do step two, which is doing a cut in my beam. When I do a cut at the beam, I will have the internal reaction. So let me do a cut and I will draw both free body diagrams, the one from the left side and the one from the right side. And then I will decide what, which one to use. You don't have to draw both, but since we are learning still how to draw free body diagram for internal forces, I will draw both this time. So when I do the cut, I will do the free body diagram of the right side and this is what I get. So this is my six, six feet, and this is 4.5. And this is my point C, right? At A, we already know that we get a force. I'm going to write it as I already know it, right? A y equals 24 kit and I have my external force which is 18 kit. Now I have the internal forces. Remember our convention sign? The normal force will be as the beam was in tension and this is called end, right? My force for the shear will always be drawn downwards if I am cutting this side, right? And the moment will be drawn in this direction, moment at C. So those are my three reactions. I could use this free body diagram to find these forces, but since I told you that I want to draw both free body diagrams and then decide what to use, let me draw the free body diagram of the left side. Let me draw a line here so that we don't get confused, right? And then I will have just one little piece, it's smaller, of 4.5 feet. And then I have my external force BY. I already found that it's negative 6 keep. And this is, this arrow points upward. So I'm going to take that sign out but I will draw the, the, my arrow down. So it's six, keep. Okay, and now I draw my internal forces. You see, I don't have anything else, so I only have the internal forces. My action and reaction will be the opposite of these ones. So as you see, this is the free body diagram of the right side. I can choose either one to calculate the internal reactions. I don't have to use both. And they will be exactly the same value. Because as you remember, the, the third Newton's law says that by action and reaction, those forces have to be the same. And if I put those two together, those two little pieces together, I get this diagram and those forces cancel out because they are internal forces. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm going to apply my equations of equilibrium. So I will choose either. So seems like this is a little bit easy because I have less forces. So I'm going to use equations of equilibrium of free body diagram of the left side, right? And then I have my forces in X equals to zero leads me to that the normal force is equals to zero. Then when I add forces in Y, I have that V, which is my shear force, minus 6 kip is equal to 0. Therefore, I have that V is equal to 6 kip. And then I take moment. I will take moment at this point of cut, which is C. 
and I get negative m, right? Because it's in the opposite direction of my positive, right? This is positive, this is negative, so it's negative. And then I get also a negative moment produced by the six kip, and this is equals to zero. Therefore, my moment is equals to negative 27 kip per feet. So, what does it mean that it is negative? It means that it goes in the opposite direction. Positive means that the beam is concave up. So that means that in this particular point, the beam is going to be concave down because that moment is negative. And this is the solution of this problem.